Joshua opens with an old black woman feeding chickens with the help of a young woman. An, ol- <clears throat> an older man named Sam arrives with the mail. He gives a present to the younger woman, who turns out to be his wife. He's <clears throat> he also has news for the old woman. Her son Joshua is returning from service with the Civil War ending. Shortly after, a group of men show up asking for food. The old woman beckons them to come in, and she'll make dinner for them. During the dinner, tensions quickly arise when the men take Sam's wife. Sam is badly wounded while resisting, and the old woman is shot. The group escape with Sam's wife in their custody. Within hours, Joshua arrives and is greeted by Sam. Sam updates Joshua about the abduction and the death of his mother. Soon, a lawman posse returns. They lost track of the kidnappers. Joshua takes it upon himself to pursue them and brings Sam's wife back. Joshua catches up with the group and gradually picks them off one by one. It comes down to the leader of the group, Jed and Joshua. Sam's wife is caught in the middle. Joshua was directed by Larry Spengler, who collaborated with Williamson on previous projects. Williamson wrote the screenplay. He used this opportunity to play a character akin to Clint Eastwood in the Sergio Leone trilogy. Joshua is a man of few words, but has unbreakable resolve. That charisma that Hammer carried films like Three the Hard Way and Mean Johnny Barrows is notably absent. Joshua is vulnerable, taking his shots, and gives them back almost as hard. The film has a commentary on the buying and selling of human beings, uh, in a subtle manner actually, through the character of Sam's wife. We find out she's a mail-order bride, imported from a foreign country to be the spouse of a man she's never met. She's kidnapped and raped by Jed and goes through Stockholm Syndrome, falling for her captor. When Joshua tries to rescue her, she refuses and stays with Jed, through to the very end. She seems to have never known freedom. She was just groomed to be someone's property. Much like with Mr. Feather and Dr. Fortorero in Three the Hard Way, Jed and his gang are presented as reprehensible men. They are the worst of the worst. One of Jed's men, Weasel, brags about raping his adolescent sister. It is very easy to hate these guys, and all the more of a joy when Joshua takes them out. The music by Michael Irwin is too much synth for a western. He tries to use a Morricone-esque whistling motif. It's droning and without a memorable theme or melody. The cast does the best with the slow burn material by Williamson. Cal Bartlett is Jed... Brenda Venus as Sam's wife, and Ralph Willingham as Weasel are fine in their parts. Isela Vega steals the movie as the Mexican girl who's handy with a firearm. Joshua is a slow-paced film, too slow for some compared to the likes of Three the Hard Way or Mean Johnny Barrows. This one is for the hardcore fans of Williamson. Those of a casual nature may not get as much mileage out of this one. And that finishes this look at select films of Fred the Hammer Williamson. Out of these five, Three the Hard Way and Mean Johnny Barrows are the must-sees, with Adios Amigo and Bucktown kind of being the ones that you can save for a rainy day. And with so many films left to look at in his filmography, you can definitely expect for him to return in a later episode in the future. (laughs) 